Next pivots VWAP. Next we can put on our inventory. We can keep that with the DOM maybe. Inventory heat map. Let's go with the opening range. Yeah. That's all. Okay, as previously mentioned, we're just gonna stick all our there for a minute. We're just going to stick all our studies on our tent tick here. Um, so we'll, the next few we'll go through, we're going to go through the opening, uh, sorry, the open, the open range high low, the previous day high low and close, and the opening range for the session. All right, so first off, we want to stick on our study. So F6, as always. And uh, let's start with the open shirt to make it easy. Oh, actually, ah, no, 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 yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's stick, yeah, let's stick on the open, the open. So for the open, we have our open high, low close, open high, low close. And it is going to be, sorry, the daily open high. Oh, here we go. Boom. Add. Boom. Daily open high low close, and we just go in as always into the settings. This is on our tent. It is on our tent. Okay, so let's go through uh, this guy. Okay, we'll come back to this page in a minute. We'll just go through. Okay, chart one inherited, and we'll just go through our setup. So nothing too exciting in here. Number of days calculated doesn't really matter. Five. Um, use days so around tick size. No, it doesn't really matter. We can say yes for that one. I like to have it. Uh, use day session only. Yes, we only want the day session. So we only want the open for the New York session. And the rest is all uh, no, 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 no. Always use the same region for scale range. Always use the same region for scale range. Doesn't really matter alrighty so we go into our subgraphs then and we change our colors so for the open only we have it in yellow uh, I like to make it a little bit bigger we like to have the name label the value label I just like to put the open so we can see it and we can stick this on all our charts we'll come back to these I'm going to turn all these off so just ignore and now we just want the open for this particular study ignore ignore perfect and that is it apply okay apply okay and this is previous days open which we're currently bouncing off or sitting at as soon as the new york session comes online we will then get uh, this line will populate elsewhere actually uh, just to make sure that it's uh, not uh, let's go settings again dash okay it is set to a dash if you don't set this to a dash line it will um it will be constant basically so that's perfect dash is perfect and we're done okay so perfect so that's the open apply and that's the open from yesterday so that will just remain there until we have the new york open. So there's the previous day's open as you can see so that is the open complete so just take that one off what else did we say so let's go to the uh to the opening range the opening range next so for the opening range study what i'm going to do just going to turn off some of these as well for the time being hide 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 apply and let's go to the next one so that they're not just uh, in our way basically that's right opening range uh, for the opening range, we pick our study, which is our high low for the time period extended. Here we go, high low time period extended. We add it, and like the rest, we go to our settings and we start through the process. I like to leave both of these pink, pink. Okay, okay, and we just go through. I like to have it as a dash again, same reason dash solid one. We can leave it as one dash, and we go, oh, there we go. The stair step, we go to a dash, where's our dash, 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 back up again, dash solid one. We can say name label and value label, and uh, this is the low, so we can say, oh, 
are low. And let's go with name label, value label, bop -bop -bop. O R I. Okay. I think that's everything in here. Bop -bop 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 -bop. Right, back to our settings and inputs. So, this is a personal preference again. As you wish, you can just take a zero off this guy. Doesn't really need to be so high. 12 is fine. Right. Some people like to use a five minute opening range. Some people like to use a whatever. It's basically, you want this to populate for the first X amount of minutes in the opening range, so after the opening bell. I personally like to set mine to one minute, so I will just be setting mine to zero, uh, zero nine, bup, three zero, bup, zero zero, so starting at 9.30 and finishing at, you guessed it, nine, doop, 9.31. Up zero zero. Now you can set this to anything you wish. I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, it's totally up to you. But the one minute is what I prefer as a preference, and then all the rest of these settings are the same. Just make sure chart region one inherited. Apply, apply. Okay, apply. Okay, and as previously, you just have the opening range for yesterday. <clears throat> You can remove these identifiers if you wish, totally up to you, but I like to see them on the chart. So that is it. That's the opening range high and the opening range low from the first minute of price action for, 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 for um, from Friday. I mean, sorry, from Friday already. In this case, from the overnight, I think. Oh, no, no, from Friday. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't print. For us, there is no New York session in the overnight, of course. Right. So let's take off. What was that? This is the opening range. So next. Let's see what we'll add. 